Okay, the recording button does work. So what do we do? Uh, I've got a bucket load of water, yeah? A couple of med kits. Not a lot of food. So I'm gonna do the really easy thing. I'm just gonna cook a bunch of fish. Grab one or two more, if I have to. A boomerang man, thank you. Okay, so easy option for me. Because getting down to that right now is gonna suck. Is maybe a bad idea. We're going into the Aurora because I mean honestly I've been putting it off a little bit and if we turn off the ra radiation then I don't have to worry about it anymore which seems like a deci decidedly good idea. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. We got the stupid dick crabs all over the place. I hate them a lot. Warning, ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Well, luckily I've got a boatload of spare batteries. I think there's more. We've got endless resources, kind of. They really do just kind of give a lot to you so you can get this done. Okay, so I'm just going to run around, try and avoid these guys as much as possible, because I don't want to fight them. They suck. They suck so hard. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. They eat people! How do we get in here? We might have to kill some of the crabs. I want to say this isn't the way in. But I also don't remember which is the way in. That doesn't seem like it. Like we ow. Oh, you have to go past the open chest. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I had to play Fireman for a while if there was a better. This seems really precarious, to be totally honest. Uh. I'm just gonna going to ignore those. Okay, locked. Do we just hop in? I'm assuming as such, yes. Yeah. And this is where I find out I wasn't supposed to do this, and I've effectively doomed myself by hopping into a compartment I wasn't supposed to hop into. Um. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power, unable to remotely download black box data. It didn't load. Is there a no clip mode? Uh. Uh. Well, I could just reload. Let's see. What is the no clip? Okay. Oh. Well, it looks like the console is fine.
Okay, explode ship, can't end ship. Uh, item, clear inventory, spawn, cure, infect, sub, filter water. Okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna save, and I'm just gonna try and requit, uh, quit out, and let's see, just see what happens. Cause yeah, maybe just reloading into it will help. Maybe it'll stick me at the door. Maybe it'll stick me inside the Aurora. Maybe I'll have to do some other things. I might just have to kill myself. Like, it it's truly not that big of a deal. If I'm stuck. You're never saving a bugged area. I'm not too worried. Yeah, I'm stuck there till I die. I, is that about the same? Oh, let's see, teleports. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm still in here. Okay. There we go. Problem solved. Where'd I get a boomerang from? Oh right, I caught just a live one. And you do not need to distance on warp forward, actually. You will just, um... You will actually just, uh, blip forward just like a little bit. Yeah. I I knew there are, there are ways to get out of that situation. I saved because I figured I could fix it, or it would spawn around me, or who knows what. Uh, I'm a little worried that, you know, it might never load the interior. Uh, at which point I could always just re-explode the Aurora, or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there, there's a fire in the door, which looks like a good sign. Because it, it looks like there's supposed to be one. Yeah, this, this looks about right. It's definitely... This looks a little bit closer to, I think, what's supposed to be on and happening. Okay, grab the abandoned PDA, and we're good. New PDA data. Yep. No. I want this. I'm just gonna pull out the flashlight. This almost reminds me of the forest, actually. This, this whole section reminds me of when you actually finally get into the weird facility at the bottom of the chasm. With the final boss and everything. That's a weird game. I don't know if I'll ever play the uh, the forest again. I didn't enjoy it, I think, as much as I was kind of expecting I would. Yeah, so we'll just eat all the old cooked food. I've got some spare food. I think they give you, like, food blocks or something. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Jack burned himself on a very small amount of fire. Yeah, so we're probably gonna have to look at all of these at some point. Not actually sure. 
Prawn suit poster land. Well, that's in my inventory now. Uh, oh, am I supposed to have the propulsion cannon? Can I get in there, or can I just climb over that? I bet I can just climb over that. I bet I don't need a cannon for that. Not really, you can parkour. Yeah, actually, it looks like it can just drop down. Oh. Wow. I insta died. All right, what do I need for this? Nothing. Cool. That solves that problem. Down we go again. Yeah, you have to parkour from the other side. Yay. The yeah, fire is hot. Fire is instant death, apparently. I kind of d disagree with that. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack, Jack stepped on a flaming stick. Oh, how right you are. Oh, well, back we go, I guess. Yeah, that was instant death while I was trying to uh, put out the fires. I feel I feel a bit cheated for that, to be totally honest. Yeah, so the fire that you can't put out is instant death. Huh. Or it isn't instant death, which is very fast. Still feel cheated. Just a little. Probably go stab me up a fish. Yeah, wow. That, that dude went flying. Alright, there we go. That feels better. We... Okay. So, assuming a Reaper Leviathan doesn't come out of the water to bite me in the ankles, let's just go back. I think I can just go grab all of my stuff. And yeah, well, now we've got the propulsion gun, so we don't have to worry one way or another whether or not I don't have the stuff to get in. I, I just have it. Problem solved. No worries. I wonder if they'd ever make a multiplayer focused Subnautica 2. I hope so. I. It's like on one hand, this game is really nice and super satisfying to play solo. On the other hand, the idea of of working together with multiple other people to make like sea moths and cyclopses and whatnot would be really nice. Like, sending somebody out to specifically go diving for... We need a bunch of lithium. Go grab as many as you can jam into your inventory and stuff. Because, like... There's a lot bigger creatures than the Reaper. Yeah, there's that weird dragon thing that shoots fireballs. Remember that. Sea Glide Blade should be swimming. I think it's because I'm actually on the surface. Yeah, it's because I was on the surface and just swimming really, really fast. Or just at totally regular speed, I have no idea. Yeah. Do not walk into instant death fire. Again. Yeah, the whole line about the Cyclops being a three-man vehicle really hinted to them having plans for multiplayer. Yeah, I think they originally were like, yeah, we'll develop the base game and then make it multiplayer at some point. And then they kind of realized, oh, that's not really that feasible uh, without, like, making this really buggy. And didn't. This would be one of those games that I'd actually pay 10 bucks just to enable multiplayer, like as a, a paid DLC. Uh, 
but actually have it be, like, supported by the developers and good. That'd be nice. Is all the fire back, or did I never put that fire out? I actually don't know. Yeah, there is a co-op mod coming out soon. I, I am aware of that. And I'm looking forward to it. But also, I I will always uh, prefer like officially supported dev multiplayer. Oh yeah, is my dead is is my stuff up here? Yeah, so it looks like I lost the battery up here. Huh? Well, that's not worth dying over. So let's not do that. Because that would be, that would be stupid. I can make more batteries. Alright. Scans of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. All right, so I've got to look at a PD PDA for this, don't I? Uh, data downloads. Found the password in that other room. Cargo bay code. Did I not grab it? I might not have grabbed it somehow. Well, it would be the first time I'd just walk straight past stuff. Because, yeah, codes and clues. Oh, no. Notes to self. Oh, I see. I thought it was going to be a separate document. 1454. Four. Yeah, there it is. That's good to know. Huh? Should probably actually look at those for a bit. One, four, five, four. There we go. Okay, so what are the other notes to self? Use birthday, 40 weeks before we get home, 400 weeks before it, it feels like we get home. Not enough. Credits, Altair is paying me. Okay, so those the rest of those aren't actually immediately or amazingly useful, surprising no one. I don't have any more fire extinguishers. Hopefully we get another one, because I'm pretty sure my previous one is done so. Let's just hope there aren't any of those like little little stab stabber biter horror monsters around in here. I don't remember there being any more once you get inside. Nutrient blocks, mmm, the best. Integrating new PDA data. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna get a lot of nutrient blocks and a lot of disinfected water in this room. I think we have to go a little bit further in to get the prawns. Unless I'm mistaken, there's like some seriously just fully completed prawns. I'm actually a little bit surprised they don't just straight up give you a prawn in here instead of the ability to make one. Oh, down we go. Because elsewhere I'm just going to burn to death probably. Scan everything. I actually haven't seen any, uh... Anything that looks particularly scannable so far. But mostly just empty. Oh no, you know what? There might be biters at a certain point in here now that I'm thinking about it. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, there are face huggers in the reactor room. I think that's the case, yeah. But yeah, I, I know to scan everything. There's a little symbol in the bottom right corner that pops up when I can scan something. And yeah, we should also read all the, the logs. I was probably going to go on a lore blitz at some point and be like, So, what have I missed? Integrating new PDA data. I've just been kind of lazy because... Integrating new PDA data. Okay, so this actually feels like progress, so we should go back for a second. Prawn Bay, locker room. Yeah, that's uh, that feels like progress. Drive room. The drive core shielding sustained internal damage during collision. Do not attempt repair without appropriate qualifications. I feel really small in this game. Warning, local radiation at maximum tolerable level. New blueprint acquired. Okay, you miss a door that needs repairs. Further breaches detected. Okay. Is that the door with the red, or how far back do we have to go? Well, time to repair as much as I can. There we go. What the? There's like a fish thing that I could scan in here. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Alright, there we go. Nope, that, that's not working. There we go. You have to come at this at kind of weird angles. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Containment breach repaired. Oh, Further there's breaches so many. detected. Why did no one else survive long enough for me to fi uh, to fix this for me? So that is not a fun fish boy. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll deal with it when it decides to come bite my face. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Yeah, so what does happen if I don't bother to repair this? Does the whole place, does the whole thing like blow up and wreck the area? Uh, or is it like a secret game over? Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Up oh, there's one. Okay, there we go. So it does explode. Yeah, I figured it. I figured that much. Okay, so it does look like there might be something over on this side. If I go over here, there might be another mod. Nope, no signal. No nothing. Anything else over here? Feels like there should be more goodies, but I guess I'll take the uh, the one mod. Okay, so I don't need my lead suit anymore. Period. Awesome. Okay, so where's this where's this door that needs repairs? Yep. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. Is it is it this door? Oh yeah. It, it didn't look like I could open it originally, so I was like, eh. Okay, so this is... VR suit log. Integrating new PDA data. 
Sea Moth Depth Module Mark 1. Sea Moth Fragment. Mm, that's not that amazingly helpful, but whatever. It'll help. I don't think I get I get any of the other modules anywhere else. Is there anything else here? I this is why I probably should have just turned the scanner room back onto fragments anyway, just because. Okay, so it looks like it's just the depth module, nothing more. Okay, we've already been down there, so on to the prawn room. It'd be kind of nice if fragments were highlighted for me. Only because I'm a lazy sob. Now, th uh, it doesn't look like that's gonna open up. Yeah, yay sea moth. Wait, he already has that, doesn't he? Yeah, I actually tend to uh, hold off on going into the Aurora till later. Um, I don't know why, it just feels like some place that you're supposed to go at a later date. You know, once you've actually established yourself and don't suck. Oh, this is awkward. I'll just kind of repair it from over here because my fire extinguisher is busted. Because I think I lost... No, no, no. Never mind. I have a whole fire extinguisher. I should probably drop this one. Okay, so I do actually have a functional fire extinguisher that I can use. Uh, let's drink a little bit of water. And definitely don't want to eat the nutrient block yet. That'd be a waste. Hello, fire. Hello, electrical damage that will inevitably harm me. I feel like I should save in here. I'm in danger. Picking up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the room. Why is this suck so much? Maybe I can just scan them. <gasps> nope. The prawn suit, Mark III. Let's see, there's a mod in this room to collect. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. I remember having... Okay, storage module. I wanna- I wanna say I had way more fire extinguishers for this. The first time I ever came through. I could be wrong. Okay, can I just scan... The prawn suit. I guess I could just kind of scan it here. Now... I gotta find one more. I wanna give me another fire extinguisher or two so I can go to town? No, but I can scan these... Really? That hurt me? At least I can scan these prawn suits up here. This should be the last one I need, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Wait. They just disappear. They just disappear from the universe. Okay. So where's the black box? Underneath somewhere? Oh. It's up there. Probably. Oh, it's somewhere in that underwater maze. So it's not that giant area up there that's on fire? Because that looks like something that has something in it. Let's see. Go zero. Huh? 
Because it, it feels like there's something up in there. Now we just got to figure out how to parkour through that. I need the Prey Goo Cannon. Oh man, that'd be lovely. Okay. Let's find the entrance to this supposed maze. At least we have oxygen. This ain't it. Hmm. Hug the walls. I was assuming it'd be something like out here or something. Let me see. Oh, this is probably it. Hold up. I'd swear I saw, like, this. Okay, here we go. This seems about right. Murky as shit, but this seems about right. Okay, so we've got a box. It's got a battery in it. Okay, so there's the Aurora black box data. Got it. Alright, and we've got plenty of oxygen, so I can just do this. Okay, so Wander, you want to start streaming, do I have any tips to help you start? Uh, make sure you got a good mic, make sure you got a, a consistent schedule. No one likes an inconsistent YouTuber or streamer or anything like that. Uh, so if you can only do once a, once a week, make sure it's the same day, same time. Uh, I apologize. That I've been kind of inconsistent lately. This winter has been tough. Okay, let's go find some air before I try and figure out how to get in there. I think you get the code for this in this area, if I remember right. Maybe. I don't remember. Uh, I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck. All right. They need to give me some more fire extinguishers. I'm running out. Really? Yeah. Please give me another fire extinguisher. There we go. Yeah, because I can't refuel these things. Wait, are we just... We're just here. You just walked walked past a fire extinguisher on the wall. So I did. That makes me feel foolish. Ah. So this is another exit. Or a shortcut in and out if I need to. Well, that'll be good if I die past this point. Not that there's too much. Uh, inventory is decently full. Okay. 
So, how do we get into that one room? Cabin number one, 1869. I dot. Hmm. Let's see, if you have a good quality of mic, uh, should a person increase the audio bitrate? Honestly, uh, most recording software is pretty well keyed for, like, audio quality and whatnot. If, if your audio sounds bad, uh, it's because your mic is bad or you've set something else up wrong. Let's see, prawn suit room. Oh, there's a code in the room in the same room as the first locked door. Oh yeah, there it is. Lab access. 6483. Perfect. Thank you. Stay away from sparkly... sparkly bits. Six. Six. Four. Eight. Three. There we go. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh. I actually have to let myself in. Well, can I just open the door up? I'm gonna just grab the data. Repulsion cannon. I guess that counts for air. Okay. Corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. What can we learn from the hive mind of Strader 6? It bugs me a little bit that we haven't seen any dead bodies around here. I... Oh, hello. I picked up a random microscope. Sure, why not? I can know it's not a big deal, but it bugs me a little bit that we do not have, uh... You know, we don't have a single dead person at all around here. Okay. Oh, that's just closed door. I don't see anything else here. So it looks like it's pretty dead. Unfortunately, this is a really bad time for uh, for me to answer questions about how to YouTube or how to stream and stuff like that. To which I apologize for. Uh, let's see. It's because they've been disintegrated. I... Really? I guess that would make sense. Warpers would probably want to come in and clear it all out. And I'm the only... Deal hole that's still alive. Okay, if I remember right, I can just kind of sc scoot through and get out of here. Perfect! Okay, do we try and get up there? I'm interested in trying it out. to get it to not? Oh, it's just F. Because, yeah, there's an open door here. I'm just not sure if I can lift. Uh, I don't know. Alright, whatever. Let's just get out of here. If there's a way... If there's a way into that, I, d I don't know. And, like, I don't have a strong enough gun to even get in if, even, if I, even if I wanted to. Wonder there's an arc right, arc, uh, upgrade near the prawns. The uh, storage upgrade? Already got it. It is in my inventory, unless there's another one. Ah, uh, let's keep wandering around. Yeah, honestly, I'll answer stuff about like how to stream later if you're if you're still interested. Bug me as more or less as soon as I'm out of here. The problem is there's just too much immediate like uh, stuff that I have to kind of react to in here. There we go, because. We're in the Aurora, which is kind of a busy place. 